Hey, this is Rick Kasalich, Injury Specialist from ExercisesForInjuries.com. In today's video, I wanted to go through back pain relief exercises in office. And I'll get Alex to demonstrate the first one, then I'll go through in detail and I'll show you the other ones that you can do to help relieve your back pain while at the office. Good, that's the first one, standing back arch. So you're standing about hip width apart, hands are on your pelvis, low back area, you're arching back and you're really focusing on the movement in that lower back area. Good. So with this one, it ends up being a back mobility exercise. We're trying to increase the movement in the lower back because a lot of sitting at the office leads to the back being tight and stiff and we want to loosen it up in order to relieve back pain. When it comes to sets, reps, time and intensity for this exercise, sets one, repetitions five, time, smooth controlled movement with a good stop at the end position, so over a second, and then intensity ends up being light. It's a mobility exercise, working on movement in that low back area. Number two, the second one, we're gonna use the chair. So you, this one ends up being sitting and rotating. So you've moved away from the back rest of the chair. Uh, hands are on the shoulders and you're gonna rotate to one side till you get resistance in your mid back, back to the start and then rotating to that other side. I find putting the hands on the shoulders allows you to get more rotation in that mid back area. So with this one, this one once again is a mobility exercise. It's mainly targeting the mid back and it carries on into that low back. And I find with clients, if we can increase the movement in the mid back, it decreases the low back pain. So when it comes to this one, so looking at things, you're sitting, you moved away from the back rest, feet are flat on the floor, legs are about hip width apart, hands are on the shoulders, and then you're rotating to one side till you get resistance, and then back to the start, and then the other side. Smooth controlled movement. Now looking at the sets, reps, time, and intensity, sets end up being one. Repetitions, I would say five on each side, so a total of 10 movements. Time ends up being a smooth movement with a good stop at the end position. So like about a good solid second. And when it comes to intensity, the intensity ends up being light. We're doing another mobility uh, movement. Okay, just like the first one. Now moving on to the third one, this one ends up being rotating legs in and out. So you're moved towards the front of the chair, you're, you're sitting, legs are straight, and what you're gonna do is rotate that leg out and then rotate it in. So in, rotating it out, and rotating it in. So this one ends up being, we're dynamically stretching the internal external rotators of the hip. A lot of times with people with back pain, these muscles end up tightening up and contributing to low back pain. So what we wanna do is loosen those up and we do that by dynamically stretching them as Alex is doing. So you're, you're sitting, you're moving, moving to the front of the chair, you're nice and upright, legs are straight, you're focusing on rotating the whole leg, specifically we're looking at the thigh and you're gonna feel a light stretch in the hip area, rotating the thighs in, rotating the thighs out. Looking at the sets, reps, time and intensity, sets end up being one, repetitions end up being five each way. So it'd be a total of 10 movements with each leg. Intensity ends up being light, time ends up being smooth controlled movement with a quick stop at that end position. Uh, with this one, we're looking, this one ends up being like a light stretch that you're feeling in that hip area. So it's a light intensity. Uh, with this one. Now moving on to the next one, we are on number four. So this one ends up being sitting and rotating with side bending. So you're sitting, you're going to put those hands on the shoulders again, just like what we had done with the second exercise. You're going to rotate to one side, you're going to rotate to your right, and then you're going to side bend to your right. And then back to the start, rotating to the other side, and then side bending. Good. So this one, this one ends up being another mobility exercise in that mid back area. Now we've just added side bending because that mid back area moves in all kinds of directions that we need to, tar we need to target in many ways in order to loosen it up and help when it comes to the mobility side of that mid back area. Looking at 
so Alex, Alex has it, so she's moved away from the backrest. She's sitting near the end of the chair. Feet are flat on the floor, legs are about hip width apart. She's rotating till she gets resistance in that mid back area, then side bending, and then back, and then moving to the start, and then the other side, and alternating back and forth. Looking at the sets, reps, time, and intensity, sets are one. Repetitions, I would go five each side, so a total of 10 movements. Time ends up being a smooth controlled movement with a good stop at the end position and the intensity working on mobility. So we're working on loosening up that mid back area and loosening up that mid back area will help when it comes to decreasing the stress in the back and helping decrease back pain. Now looking at the last one, number five, sitting and back arching. So this will move back. We're kind of, our, our backs are up against the back rest. Hands are at the side of our heads and then we're arching back and then back to the start, and then arching back again. So we're looking at loosening up again that mid-back area. Good. So, you know, sitting with your back up against the back rest, uh, feet are flat on the floor, legs are about hip width apart, hands are to the side, you're arching back, focusing on the mid-back area. Looking at the sets, reps, time, and intensity, sets up are one, repetitions are five, Time is a smooth controlled movement with a good stop at the end position. Now you saw that we ended up targeting a lot of the mid back area, but I find if we can end up loosening that area up, it ends up putting less stress on the back and ends up helping when it comes to overcoming back pain. So there you go, give that back pain, give those back pain relief exercises in the office a go. I know they'll he uh, help uh, you out. Now, if you are still suffering from back pain and want some of my best tips and tricks when it relates to overcoming back pain, then I recommend you click right here. I have a brand new free report called Five Tricks That Fight Back Pain and Tightness. Just click right here. Let me know where to send that report and I'll send you that report right away. Now, if you're watching this on a mobile device, tablet, smartphone, head down below in the description and click the first link, which will be exercisesforinjuries.com forward slash backs. Let me know where to send that report and I'll send you that report right away. Now, if you got benefit from this video, make sure to like this video. If you have a question or comment for me, leave it down below in the comment section. And lastly, hit subscribe in, or, in order to get future pain relieving videos.